just awarded $500,000 to be spread across 13 different groups in their Break the Ice Lunar Challenge to help them figure out how to mine the moon. And even though that might sound crazy, I can't say I blame them. So they're now looking for aliens in the core of the moon, unfortunately. That would be my first moon mining project for sure. Nor are they looking for fancy shiny rocks like emeralds or diamonds to sell to rich people. Nope. They are focusing on mining the moon for water ice, which is not the same thing as ice water. That's just a refreshing glass of water with some ice in it. That's not what they're looking for either. Water ice can be broken down into its constituent hydrogen and oxygen. And those are the chief components of rocket fuel. And the reason they want to mine the moon for rocket fuel is because that would allow spacecraft to top off their tanks on their journeys away from Earth, essentially turning the moon into an interstellar gas station. One, in fact, with very full pumps. That's because scientists believe water ice is abundant in the moon's polar regions, especially on the permanently shadowed floors of some craters. They made the discovery back in 2018 and have been very busy for the past few years trying to figure out how to harvest it all, including doling out the recent cash awards. What's more, they believe that since there's water ice right there on the moon's surface, there's a good possibility there's much more buried at depth, providing a wealth of resources. And not just for spacecraft zipping by on an intergalactic highway, no. There is promise for so much water ice that scientists believe it will be a critical component to establishing a permanent lunar colony where humans work and live. NASA is hoping to establish one of those by the end of this decade through their Artemis project, one where they could harvest all that water ice and also set up energy projects like solar plants. They can make astronomical observations with no interference from noisy Earth. And of course, they can establish a super cool tourist destination. So, NASA awarding a bunch of companies cash to help them figure out how to mine for water ice should not come as any surprise. And even though it might sound like a bad idea, mining the moon, the fact of the matter is, if NASA doesn't do it, you can be sure China or Russia or Elon Musk will. Personally, I'd put my money on Musk. And I'm not even mad that they're going to muck up my favorite rock in the solar system. No, I'm not. I'm just mad they haven't made any plans to dig for the aliens hiding out in the moon's core. But if they dig far enough, they might end up doing that anyway, whether they mean to or not.